Hi guys, I'm sharing a Joann's in a Hobby Lobby haul um, with you today. Um, first, let me start with Joann's. Um, I actually stopped at um, Joann's to find a new um, trimmer. I um, totally shredded the wire on my trimmer. You know how some of them have that wire in here um, for, I guess, preci precision cutting? Well, it got kept getting snagged and then I don't know, I got really mad and I forced it and it totally shredded the wire and I only had that thing for like a couple months so I'm really upset. It was the Fiskars one and I got it because um, I love the one that I got from Stampin' Up but the um, numbers just faded off so I didn't, so I wanted to get one that was kind of like the numbers were sealed under, you know, plastic so that's why I got that Fiskars one. But I didn't like the wire, so now I got this one. I'm going to try this one. It doesn't have a wire. Um, this is a, a, I think, a Memories Keeper. We are Memories. I think it's it's covered. Um, the regular price was $29.99. But I used my coupon. Or no, actually it was on sale. They said I couldn't use my coupon because it was on sale. So it was on sale for... Um, $17.99. So it's got the scoreboard and the cutter all in one. It shows a bunch of stuff here, so I wonder if I could make some cool stuff with this. So uh, I got that. This one was from Hobby Lobby. And then I found this at Hobby Lobby on clearance for $14.39. It's the uh, mason jar and the jelly jar. And it has this little piece here where you can actually create a little treat box with these. So you can actually use the jars with or without that box. And it cuts out the lids. And it came with this embossing folder as well. So you can actually emboss the mason jar. And you can see the little box on the back, how you put it together. So this is really, really cool. So I'm excited to play with that. Um, and then at Joann's, oh, I just chipped my nail. At Joann's, um, this was on clearance. It's like a stitched fabric book. Um, I was only, I was disappointed to find out there's only three pages in it though, but it was $2.97 on clearance. So we'll see what I can do with that. And I finally got the burlap paper stack. I've been wanting this forever. So this is the 6x6. And it was on sale for, let's see, uh, $3.59. So I'm glad I found that. And then I also found the gauze paper stack. And that was the same price. It's actually got like a layer of gauze over the paper. So I thought that would be cool to use. Um, I found this in the clearance section. This is a mixed media glue for $2.51, regular $6.99. So I'm hoping this glue um, works good on paper. It says It says for all kinds of paper. But um, I've been wanting to find a glue that doesn't bubble up the paper so I can use on my cards. So I'm going to try that. And then I found they had a bunch of these. I only got these three. Because um, I didn't want to get them if I'm not going to use them. So I just got the colors that I know that I would use. Um, it was $1.79, regular $4.99. And this is the peeled paint acrylic paint dauber. I guess you can use these on stamps as well. And then this one's wild honey. And this one's spun sugar, but this is um, the fluid dye with the dauber. So you can put this on some, um, like a plastic paper so it doesn't soak through and then paint this on your flowers or something or dab this on the on your backgrounds or something like that. 
So I'll play around with that and see what I can do with that. So that's all I got. Um, yeah, so um, check out your local um, Hobby Lobby for this guy. There was only one there, so I thought that was an awesome deal. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.